severe thunderstorms hit the French island of Corsica, and electricity was cut off in some states in the south of the country. In Las Vegas, Nevada, a spacecraft with amber lights flashing in the night sky. During a rainstorm in Connecticut, an unidentified flying object was seen ascending towards the sky in the direction of cloud cover. In another thunderstorm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, a group of unidentified flying objects were seen, moving towards the cloud cover also with light and rapid movements. In Orlando, Florida, a huge unidentified flying object was seen flying high in the sky, on the lower side of the moon. Storms in France come after a long drought. The county spokesman said, the storms were moving at more than 220 km per hour, 136 miles per hour. Corsica has become the center of a regional low-pressure region characterized by severe storms, hail and torrential rain. An unidentified flying object was seen flashing in the night sky in Las Vegas, with flashing amber lights, according to eyewitnesses. The unidentified flying object has two enormous wings, both covered with bright white lights that flicker and change color, from time to time. There are also two large red lights on the front of the flying object, and it seems that, there is some part in the middle that is not clear, as it was flying at a high altitude in the sky. The unidentified flying object remained in the sky for 15 minutes, and there was a light cloud cover in the sky, so the vision was clear. The place of sighting was precisely in the far northwest of the valley, and in this place not many lights are usually seen in the sky, so the light of the flying object attracted the attention of witnesses. The craft traveled about 1,500 feet before it suddenly took off into the sky, and disappeared in the blink of an eye. In Darien, Connecticut, an unidentified flying object was seen moving in a strange way in several directions, upward towards the cloud cover that was covering the sky at that time. The presence of the unidentified flying object was discovered by chance, while eyewitnesses reviewed the footage, they took of the clouds. The orbs weren't glowing, there were no lights, it was zigzag and shot out from the side of the video screen. Due to its rapid movement, it seemed that there was a trail behind it, or perhaps another smaller orb was following it. As for the reason for the rise of the unidentified flying object to the sky, in the direction of the cloud cover, we all know that such unidentified flying objects always use the clouds to hide. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, a group of white glowing UFOs were seen moving under cloud cover. The speed of the unidentified flying objects was very fast and moved strangely, according to eyewitness accounts. There were a relatively large number of them, and they all went up in the direction of the cloud cover, and then disappeared in the clouds. These scenes lasted for a while, then the strange phenomenon stopped, and nothing appeared in the clouds. In Orlando, Florida, a huge unidentified flying object was seen flying high in the sky, on the lower side of the moon. On this night, the sky was clear and the vision was clear, although the moon was still a crescent, but this helped to notice the flying object in the sky. The best description of this sighting can be obtained from the words of the eyewitness himself. At 4.14 a.m., turned east on I-4 in Florida off of northbound I-75. Within a few minutes I noticed the moon, and how bright it looked even over the interstate lights, where I first saw the shape. At the lower right-hand side of the moon was an inverted triangle as bright, or possibly brighter than the reflective moon area. The light of the object I assume was the sun's reflection, but realizing should it be the sun's reflection, considering its approximate 45 angle to Earth. This craft would exceed several miles between points B and C, after nearly an hour, I couldn't grasp how a reflection wouldn't refract a tiny noticeable beam considering, how bright it was. By now I was nearing Walt Disney exits at 4.50 am plus or minus 5 minutes. Assuming I would lose the view of the object in the bright lights, and considering the moon, an object both were now at a lower angle, road construction brought traffic to a crawl. I pulled into the emergency lane and took the first photo. Arriving at my first destination before hitting the office at 5.26 am, downtown with all the street lights on. I realized I was no closer now to the object than I was an hour ago. It still appeared to be the same size, 
and continue its relative move toward the eastern horizon. I started looking online for an explanation only to come up blank. I decided I had to have some cross angles to the object, to get a better determination of its true location. I texted an associate in Elantan, 30 miles south of Tampa off. He texted back soon after, asking me what was the object he was looking at. I asked him to describe the object, and his description was identical to what I was seeing was identical. Next, I contacted an employee who lived 22 miles due north of my location. I realized his location may give me some different points of reference. He responded to my request for the same information. He described the object's horizontal location exactly as I was seeing and his compass reading was approximate 2.5 degree off of my readings. I took several more pictures as the sun rose and the object and moon began to eclipse the horizon. Personal. Although I have never seen any proof of outer world existent beings, mathematically I believe there are possibly thousands of existing or once existed beings off Earth. I believe that we will be much more advanced than many, and relative babies to others. I am not convinced that my sighting was a true UFO, as the object seemed to hang still as the Earth rotated past it and the Moon, no longer making them visible. After five to six pictures and two short videos, one of which I took on slow motion hoping to get a greater pixeled picture. As I looked over each picture, one may have been a true gem. After manually blowing the still frame on the slow motion video, I'm not as sure as I was earlier about what I had been staring at for over two hours. Each picture although small showed supporting evidence of a solid object that, to me, appeared to be lit up by the light from the sun. But then I studied the frame in the slow motion video and to me it wasn't an actual triangle or pyramid, but seemed more, in this picture anyway, to be a tear in the fabric of space. The light, in this photo seems to show light emitting from inside. I did not watch it fall past the horizon but can say that it was visible to the naked eye, although much leaves at approximately 5 degree where buildings and trees made I nearly impossible to watch any longer. I wondered why a craft would place itself in a perfect place to be seen for hours. The size of the object never moved from its relative position from the moon, and if my guess was even close to correct. The object sat above the stratosphere, and may have reached AC to be length greater than 100 miles. I have no idea what I saw but my mind is easier to accept the opening in space over a 100 mile wide ship. My IQ is over 140 and challenges my belief in invisible craft, little green men who kidnap people in the night. I have been up now for nearly 24 hours reading anything, and everything to help me resolve what I've seen and have photos of.